Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahavashai, by Hashem Harakakurash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who be ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the men, the prophets, that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say shalom. The title of this lesson is The Lord is Preparing His Elect. All right, and if you're a part of that number, you're being prepared for everything. All right, to lose everything. All right, for your kids to be possibly taken away from you, to lose your house, to lose your car. You're, the Lord is preparing his elect for everything that's about to take place. All right, while the rest of you people out there are really preparing yourself for death, preparing yourself to suffer. All right, for, 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 um, to die in vain. Okay, that's what you're prepared for. All right, you're prepared. For, hey, two thirds of Israel are prepared for destruction. While the Lord is preparing his elect through fasting, through uh, a, a, a scourge, through um, chastisement, or right? all these things are, are, are the, the Lord is preparing the elect for, all right? Because th there's there's numerous scriptures written about the elect, and the Lord is a man of his word. So all these all these scriptures written and prophesied about the elect have, must come to pass, all right? So there's an elect out there that the Lord is preparing to to um, to 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 quicken with it that he's quickened with his spirit that he is uh given new life to all right that he's revived all right and he's preparing them for that hour of temptation and the word prepare means to make ready what is the lord making his elect ready for jacob's trouble that's what's coming amongst our people all right amongst the so-called negroes uh uh you so-called negroes latinos native americans hey only ones that are going to be prepared for Jacob's trouble is the hopeful elect, the elect, the men that are crying and sighing for all the abominations that be done in this place. All right, that the elect women, okay, that 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 are that are trying to get themselves right, that are, that are doing the righteous deed, that are trying to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures. Um, first scripture I want to grab is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter thirty, and verse seven. And it reads, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's going to be saved? The elect. Because the Lord is preparing them right now. Okay? Preparing them by uh, just really getting their mind right. Now, this is not something you want to prepare for, um, like you're going to train or, you know, practice and none of that stuff. The Lord is preparing us mentally. Okay? Through going through shit in our life. Through going through tribulation. All right, through, through losing our losing things in our life, lo losing our life essentially, not literally, but the life that we know. All right, the the uh, our, our possibly our livelihood, but the Lord we know. If you believe in the scriptures, if you believe in the, lo the words of the uh, heavenly Father and His Son, that you're gonna have abundance, you're gonna have uh, food, you're gonna have drink, you're gonna laugh at famine. All right, it is it, scripture says in Job the fifth chapter, the beasts of the field shall be in league with thee. All right, so all these. All these uh, 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 calamities that are going to come amongst the world and mainly our people, the elect is going to be saved up out of those. The elect is going to uh, have a covering in that day, unlike you other people, unlike you you scoffers out there, unlike you Edomites, unlike all you non-believers, all right, that are not going to be saved, all right? Um, let me grab this scripture real quick. in 2 Ezra 9 and uh, 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works... And by faith, whereby ye believe, all right? Those that are being prepared are going to be saved, okay, by their works and by their faith, all right? Your works and your faith is what's preparing you for that hour of temptation, for Jacob's trouble. We're going to be, we're going to see things that we never thought we'd ever see in our life, that you would never see in a million horror movies. You're going to witness with your own eyes, okay? A uh, 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 wild beast eating babies, okay? Wild beast eating women, women screaming, screaming and no one to save them. All right. Those are the things that are coming. Those are the things that the Lord is preparing his elect for. So when we see these things happen, we won't be bugged out like everyone else. All right. We, For example, when this pandemic hit last year, what was everyone else doing? Going to go buy toilet paper and, and uh, uh, water. And, you know, they thought this was it. All right. What did they, what did the hopeful elect do? We just sat back and, and, and watched everyone bug out because. We know what time it is. We know that these things are prophesied to come. So we're not going to bug out like everyone else. When we see death right in front of our eyes, when we see wild beasts, 
when we see all these calamities, when we see America fall, the dollar crash, all right, inflation, all these things that are happening, all these things that have been prophesied to happen, we're not going to bug out like everyone else. We're going to say, call on Lord, you how about Shemar Rashad, because we know these things must happen for us to get the, get the hell out of here, all right? Um, let me grab this. In uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter um, 33 and 6, and it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability stability of thy time, and strength of salvation and fear of the Lord is his treasure. Knowledge and wisdom. Wisdom and knowledge. That's what, that, that's what the Lord has given us, all right, instilling in us, put it in our minds and put it in our hearts to prepare us, okay? To, to prepare us to, for, for these things that are to come, Okay? You know, the, the Day of Atonement just passed. That's preparing us, all right, to get to to get uh, 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 to uh, get spiritually right, all right, afflict our spirit, and, you know, to remind us, hey, it may be days, maybe days with plural that we may go without food, okay? But that's the Lord preparing us, okay? Hey, fasting, hey, when you fast, all right, that brings you closer to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh if you're fasting for the right reasons, okay? Um... Let me see. Let me grab this next scripture. Um, this is the book of Mark, chapter eight and uh, verse thirty five, uh, thirty five, thirty five. For whomsoever will save his life shall lose it. But whomsoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, the same shall be saved. All right. Losing your life. That's what the Lord is preparing us to do. All right. The Lord's not preparing us to take a uh, jab to save our life. OK to uh, give in to the demands of the wicked to save our life. The Lord is preparing us to lose our life, to lose out on opportunities that 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 may uh, keep us afloat for a little while, to, to, for righteousness sake, all right, to build us up. So when the time comes, when a, the, your job says, hey, you know, the, the testing isn't working, you got to take it. Hey, you can catch that, you know, that, that the Lord's preparing us to walk away from a good job, all right, a job that, you know, was, was taking care of our, taking care of your family. All right, that's what the Lord is preparing us for. Everyone's not on that level. Uh, 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 the Lord is not preparing everyone. Everyone's not going to be on that level to walk away. You can see that now with the with the lack of faith of our people. All right, our people don't have faith. The Lord ain't preparing them. The Lord is preparing these people for. The Lord is preparing these people for destruction. Okay. Um. Let's see. Next scripture I want to grab is. Uh, the book of Matthew. Chapter 24 and uh, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. And for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Right, so the days are being shortened for the elect's sake in these last days. Okay? You, hey, things are happening fast. All right? For the, yeah, and, all this is, and all this is for the elect's sake. Okay? Um, all these prophecies coming to pass, things moving swiftly. This is all for the elect's sake. All right, um, because there's, there's a, a we're coming to a time like you've never seen before that you're never going to see. All right. And everyone's not prepared for these times. Only the elect is going to be prepared like like um, like for a big game, like the Super Bowl or NBA finals or something. You know, the, the team go through a game plan and and they do all these things to prepare. So when that big game comes, they'll be prepared. This is the big game. All right. While the elect is out there practicing and, and, and practicing the righteous works. What is the rest of you people doing? Sitting back, sitting back thinking the game not going to come. Things sitting back thinking you got time. You don't got time. All right. So while you're sitting on your ass and and, and, and scoffing and talking shit, the, the Lord is preparing his elect. Because when it's game day, when, when, when it's that hour of temptation comes, hey, everyone's not going to be prepared for that. Everyone's not going to be prepared to lose their life. All right. Um, well, let me grab this. Uh. This is the book of Sirach. Well, actually, I want to grab this in Isaiah, Salah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter um, 42 and 1. Behold, my servant whom I whom I uphold, mine elect, in, my, in, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. It says, the point I want to pushing this is my elect who my soul delighted the lord delights in his, his elect that's why he's going to save them that's why he's going to uh, uh fight for them that's why he's going to uh um that's why he's going to um uh lift up that standard for them 
Okay, because the Lord delight the Lord delights in his elect. All right. Um, it's another verse I wanted to get about the uh, going into the elect. Um, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 13 and verse um, straight to the point, verse one. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, even a man, even a man than the gold wedge of Ophir. All right. The Lord is going to uh, um, the Lord is preparing his elect to be to be tried in the fire and 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 and. Um, that's precious gold, all right? The Lord is going to make us, and they're using gold to compare uh, his elect, okay? The Lord is, 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 is going to refine his elect as precious gold, all right? And the gold is a precious is a precious metal, all right? And, and the elect, and, and elect is, is, to the Heavenly Father, is worth more than, than anything, okay? To, to the Heavenly Father and his son, who, who the Lord had chosen from the beginning, all right? Um, let's see. Let me grab this in the book of John, chapter um, 15, and uh, the point is in 19. I'll start at uh, verse 18. If you hate the, if you hate the, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. The Lord chose his elect out of the world. All right, so the elect is not going to go along to get along in this wicked ass society. The elect is always going to go against the grain of what Esau's uh, set up their agenda with their, their plans, their wicked, their wicked agenda. Okay, and the elect is going to go against two thirds of our of, of our own people. Okay, the, the the hopeful elect out there is is not a part of this world. The Lord chose the hopeful elect, the elect out of this world. All right, so you're not going to see the a, a member of the elect. Uh, partaking in, in, in none of this wicked shit that's going on out here, okay? But that they, that's the that's the Lord again preparing His elect, okay? Hey, if you if your mind is in this world, hey, you're not of the elect. If your mind is on worldly shit and and making money and and, and doing nigga shit and you, you're not you you you're not of the elect more than likely. All right, the Lord can snap you out of that, but at the same time, we're too close for. You, uh, uh, Jake out there to be still lost. Jake's still out there to be, you know, not not knowing what's going on. Okay, we, we, we're we're too close for, you know, uh, uh, really Jake not to know know about this truth. Okay, this is the book of Revelations, chapter um, twelve. I'm gonna start at verse ten. And I heard a loud voice saying, "In heaven now has come salvation and strength, in the kingdom of our power, in the power of Amashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them." before our power day and night. And that's talking about Esau, the accuser. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, Yahweh Shai, and by the word of their testimony. The elect have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And they love not their lives unto death. Everyone ain't prepared to lose their life. The elect is prepared to lose everything, even their life on this side, okay? And that's what a lot of people in this world can't fathom because they feel that this life that they have is all they have. OK, they did they, 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 the life that they have, you know, uh, uh, the, the legacy that they feel that they're going to leave behind. That's all they have. Hey, the, the elect is going to leave by a legacy that's going to live forever. OK, that's going to be spoken of forever. That's going to be the elect is going to be written in the book of life. OK, that's what people don't realize. All right. The 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 the, 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 the elect has been prophesied since day one, since the, 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 the world began. All right. Where the first first um, spirits created. OK. And, and, you know, the Lord is and there's a leg on this on, in, in the world right now who the Lord is preparing to um, for Jacob's trouble, for, for the trials and tribulation, for everything that is um, taking place in this in, in this in this world. Everything that's going to take place in the downfall of Babylon and um, the rest of these, uh, the rest of these, uh, uh, the, 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 basically the ba downfall of Babylon and um Esau's whole wicked infrastructure. All right, so I just want to make this, uh, do this quick lesson on how the Lord is preparing his elect. And, you know, hey, those that uh, are out there prophesying and um, the hopeful elect out there that's prophesying and laboring this truth continue to push because we're almost out of here. And, you know, hey, the Lord is continuing to, is preparing us every day for uh, the, the, the things that are to come. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Yahweh Kadash. The next time I say Shalom.